This is Jamie Boyan with the White Oak Police Department, and I'm here with Lieutenant Brennan Robertson. Um, and I guess you were an uh, investigator on this case. Yeah, you guys had a murder the other day, right? We did have a murder. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you've already made an arrest, correct? Yes. Okay. So what? Uh, it was a kind of an unusual series of events. It started, as far as you guys knew, with an accident, but you didn't know about the murder at that point. Right. We got a call on a Saturday, July eighth, of a major collision here in town. Officers responded during the course of that investigation and it was found that uh, the driver that was, that was more severely injured, he ended up going to the hospital, but he, uh, some firearms were found in his car okay. and some ammunition. Okay. And, but at that time, we didn't know anything had happened other than he just had a wreck. Right, and then I guess a couple of days passed and then you were notified of a, a body in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wreck happened at 11.30 Saturday, then Monday at about 5 p.m. Um, a man comes home to, to his house and goes in and finds his mother deceased in the bedroom. Okay, all right. And then, of course, the investigation ensued at that point. And I guess uh, uh, you guys put up a crime scene tape. Uh, uh, Greer County DA came in too, right? Yes. Aid in the investigation. Yes, they did. And um, then at that point, I guess you needed to talk to the husband who was in this wreck. Yeah. yeah. The officers, uh, one of the officers on scene remembered that you know, a couple of days prior, the husband who lived at that address had been involved with the wreck and they was at the hospital in Tyler. Okay. So you guys went up and talked to him, questioned him a little bit? Went to talk to him and, um, yeah. And then, yeah, and then I guess at, uh, at some point after that, he was released from the hospital. Yes. And then you guys track him down to a hotel? We did track him down to a hotel. During the course of the investigation, it ended up, we got subpoenas for his clothing and things like that from the hospital and evidence was found in the clothing oh, okay. that matched him to the wreck and to the the scene of the deceased person okay and then you guys uh, had sent her off for an autopsy um what were the results of that uh, two bullet wounds to the head okay okay uh, in the pocket of one of his pieces articles of clothing they found two empty shell casings and it matched a gun that was found at the scene of the wreck previously and which was also missing two rounds okay. of ammunition from it. So it's looking like this maybe happened Saturday sometime. Just, just prior to the rig. Yeah, okay. All right, and then I guess at that point, uh, it, like I said, tracked him down to a Longview Hotel and um, you got him under arrest, right? Mm -hmm. Officers went there, the detective, the investigating detective uh, got him to the door and took him into custody without incident. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so I guess at this point it's just uh, up to the DA's department. Yep, we're gonna continue the investigation and when it's all said and done with, the DA will take over. All right, good deal. Well, thank you for the information, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, this one came to a pretty quick ending. Um, I guess it's been a, a, quite a while since uh, you guys have had a murder mm -hmm. in White Oak, right? Like 10 years, something like that? It's, it's been a while. I, mean, yeah. I can't remember exactly, but it's not something we uh, we want to see a lot of, thankfully. Right. But unfortunately, but, it does happen from time to time. Yeah, right. And But you guys got on it quick and got the thing, you know, solved, looks like. Yes, sir. Although he does have to go to trial. All right, Absolutely. thanks again. Appreciate it, Thank you. All right. We'll have more later on KLTV 7 News and KLTV.com.